What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Thanks for watching. Thanks for returning. And today I'm going over how to bend a double stop. That's right, double stops, two notes played on adjacent strings. But how are we going to bend those bad boys? Well, today I'm going to seek, give you the secrets and the little inside tip of what's going on with that. I just got to make sure there ain't nobody around because, you know, they don't want me giving this stuff away. I got to make sure nobody sees because, you know, there's all those players out there that don't want you knowing what they're doing. I'm here to break those myths. They're all going to hate me. I love being hated. I love being the guy they don't like. I'm the myth buster. Today, the double stop is as easy as it gets. Let me explain the technique of what's going on. You might already be able to do it without much practice. So what we're doing is we're going to learn to play the bent note first. So I'm going to be using a D and a, a C note here to play the D and D. I got a D note here. I got my C note here. First thing we got to learn to do is make the C note sound like the D. So play the D and memorize it quickly, temporarily. So you can bring your, learn to bring your C up to that D. That's all you got to learn to do. That's it. Class is over. Not. You have to learn to do that. Bring the C to the D. Or you can bring it to this D. Because you're going to play that one too. The bottom line is get the C to the D already, will you? Get the C to the D. That's your first goal, your first maneuver you're trying to work on. Then we have to learn to play the D. And hold these two fingers down like this. Now, the, the challenge here is that we have to learn to relax half the muscles in the hand and use the other half so we don't really do that anywhere else in life with the hand we don't really walk around with a hand that's half relaxed and half working but that's what's got to go on here we've got to relax chillax this finger and get these other ones to do the work we're going to kind of leave this guy in the dust because these guys got to go on these two fingers are going on a little bending spree and this guy's going to get left behind so here's what we do we're bringing this finger up with holding this one down we're going to bring this to the second string, and we're going to play that C note. We're going to bend the C note up while leaving the first finger in place. So you got to relax this first finger, but push the other ones. We don't, you know, you might get this. Because even if you pick the one string that you want, the first finger might still want to push itself up because you haven't learned to relax the hand on half of the hand yet, that half. So you have to relax that first finger while pressing on the others. It's a weird feeling. It does feel a little weird. I wouldn't say the word is difficult, but it's weird. So first, you just begin by holding this finger down and being able to control it by keeping it down and moving this other one to make your bend. That is the first thing you want to be able to do. Once you can push this note while leaving the first finger in its place... You're ready to hit them both. Then you strike them both, and you only lift the second finger, the second string. When you bring it to pitch, it's going to sound the best. Then you move it to the other notes in the scale, and you do the same exact thing. There's E. The D now goes to the E, so you're going to play that E and get the D to go to E. And then play the E. Then play the F. I do F. Then the G. Then the A, then I hit the C and the D. That's what I did in the intro. I did a D, F. Actually, I did a D, then an E, then F. Then I went to G, I hit A, then I went to C, D. Because I can't get my fat fingers up in there any farther than that. And that's basically what you're doing for the bent double stop or bending your double stops. And then you can put a little vibrato on that note. When you got it down, you can really wiggle it out there. Now, I what I do is I build a little tension by doing three. Mm -hmm. 
Then I throw a little tail on the end because if you don't throw a tail, it doesn't sound so good. That's it, guys. That's bending the double stop. It's easy. Five minute lesson. You're bending in five, four, three, two, one. See you in the next video.